Hey. Already know who this young boy is. Make some noise for Wizkid! Before Wizkid would drop his album Sounds from the Other Side, before he would make a song with Drake that would go on to be one of the biggest songs in the world, before he gained international success as an African artist, before he would have an alleged beef with DeVito, and before Rihanna would say that he was her kind of man. Wizkid is one of the biggest artists in Nigeria, Africa, and he's come from humble beginnings. This kid grew up in the streets hustling, but he's used his voice to build an empire for himself. It's your number one journalist, Mr. Montgomery, documenting the story of Wizkid before he rose to fame. Now this channel might seem a bit familiar with another one, but I don't see the similarity. Enough talking, let's get straight into it. Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun was born on the 16th of July, 1990, in Lagos, Nigeria, in Suriname where he states he had to hustle to survive. He comes from a large family and is the last of six children. His mom was a Christian and his dad was a Muslim. In a radio interview, he said that his father had three wives. He attended Ijibu Ode Grammar School, which he was allegedly kicked out of because he stole school equipment. He would enroll to Lagos State University, but then drop out and attend Leeds City University and also drop out after second year. My mum found out that I dropped out of two universities. Well, I wouldn't be alive to tell the story. And if it's true that he stole equipment from his school, then it's right about him being a hustler then. From young, he started singing in the church, going by the name of Little Prince. At 11 years old, he formed a group called The Glorious Five, where they released a seven track mixtape in 2001. Yeah, it's your boy Weezy. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm the best in my time with rap skills and I strike with a fleece. Yeah, man. See, little mama don't test the kids. See, I'm the freshest in the building. Yeah. His parents weren't really happy with him doing music in the beginning. So to get his father's trust, he said that he had to work really, really, really hard in the studio. At 15 years old, he would meet Nigerian producer OJB Jezra. Constantly going to his studio, he watched the legend Two-Face Adiba record his Grass to Grace album, which was released in 2006. And he also met legend Nate O.C. and stated that he was mentored by him and coached. His first brush with the limelight occurred when he featured on M.I. Abagra's Fast Money, Fast Cars in 2009. This work would land him the reward as in 2009 he signed a record deal with Banky W's Empire Mates Entertainment. Then in 2010 his breakthrough came when he released his first single Holl at Your Boy. He later followed that up with Tease Me and Don't Do. This would lead him to win a Headies Award and a Mobile Award in 2011. He gained further motivation when he found out he was going to be a father on the 22nd of August 2011, it was reported. He later dropped his debut album Superstar. The album contained tracks such as Pack of the More, No Lele and Love My Baby which will go on to win the Album of the Year at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards in 2012. While Wizkid also won the Best Pop R&B Artist of the Year. Later on, Banky W will make an album called Empire Mates State of Mind with a collective of Nigerian young talent, featuring Wizkid on some tracks such as Baddest Boys and EME Boys. He also allegedly signed a $350,000 deal with Pepsi. It is your boy Whiskey, and I'll give anything for the new 60CL Pepsi Long Trunk Bottle. That's 20% extra at the same price. Grab yours today. That commercial was a classic. I wonder if Supermall was sponsoring me. I would love a lifetime supply of Supermall. He would go on to perform on the 12th of November 2012 at the O2 Brixton Academy at the BBC One Extra Live concert and won a BET Best International Act Award. In 2013, he would part ways with Banky W's Empire Mates Entertainment 
and make his own label called Starboy Entertainment. Signing Malik Berry, Legendary Beats and LAX who has since left. He would start working on his album releasing Jai Jai featuring civil rights activist Femi Kuti and The Matter. On the 15th of June 2013, Wizkid was involved in a non-life threatening car accident in Lagos, Nigeria and he crashed his Porsche Panamera. In 2014, he signed a management deal with Tiny Tempers Disturbed in London. Then he would drop his second studio album, Ayo, with tracks like Show You The Money and Audio Elegba, it featured guest appearances from Tiger, Akon and Wale. In 2015, his international success came as Drake and Skepta would remix his Audio Elegba track. Well, you know the rest of the story because this is the story of this your number one journalist, Miss Montgomery. Make sure you hit that comment box and leave a like and also please subscribe and follow me on my social media. Until next time. Are you ready? Let's go!